1971 ESO Grifo Berlinetta with coach work by Bertone. ESO was a company from uh, Brussels, Italy. Uh, the company's main business, believe it or not, was refrigerators. But once again, like many others, uh, there's a way to build a better mousetrap, I guess you could say. This is what we call a hybrid, and that does not mean a Toyota Prius. A hybrid means it is a Corvette engine, essentially, in here. Good old American hardware under the hood with this lovely, sexy Italian body over top. Uh, it's a cor typically, these were a 327 Corvette engines. Dr. Audi's car is equipped with a big block. This has a 454 in it. And the car, the uh, engine was taken from a, uh, a damaged ESO Can Am model and fitted to this car. There were 412 briefos built. Even more rare is this particular car, which has a pop-up headlight, which was, I think, on 16 cars or something like that. It's a very small number of cars. The hood, if he had to twist open the hood, that bump, yeah, you don't need to, but the bump on the hood is because it needs to clear that big block motor. The 327 is fit, the 454 is done, but it is such a cool car. And this is your first time showing it, correct? Congratulations, great car. Thank you so much for bringing it. Next up is our friend Jed Rappaport. Jed Rappaport, a good friend of the Concord. Jed's from Brinningsville, Pennsylvania. This is a 1951 Allard K2 Roadster. We have three Allards on our field today, which is really quite special. And Jed's car is really, really interesting and unique. Uh, Sydney Howard was a Brit. This is another hybrid car. So this is a British car with American uh, engine under the hood. Jed will also tell you these things go like stink. And because of the suspension they have, they are a little bit on the squirrely side with all the power that they have. But they're a fun, fun car nonetheless. And Jed, you probably have been in trouble in this car at some point, right? Haven't you? <laughs> this case, Okay. This K2 was purchased new in August of 1951 by Max Hess, the owner of Hess's department store in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And Mr. Hess titled his cars in the name of his employees, which was unusual. Uh, he was, uh, his facilities manager, La manager Lawrence Luckenbach, uh, drove this car and only put 5,000 miles on it, after which it was parked in a barn sometime around 1965. When Luckenbach passed in 1992, his family sold the car to the next owner, who sympathetically restored the car re while retaining much of its original character, and Jed purchased the car in 2012. Under the hood here is a 331 Cadillac V8, and it just sounds nice. Great car, Jed. Thanks so much. Next up is Fred Zell from St. Michael, Maryland. Hybrid. Fred has a 1949 Bentley Mark IV drophead coupe with coach work by H.J. Molliner. Uh, up until World War II, all Bentleys and all Rolls Royces had coach built bodies. There was no such thing as a factory body on the model. But World War II changed that, and the Rolls Royce and Bentley, which was the same company, shared models. This was a new car, however, in September of 1946, when it was delivered to its first owner. There was a new engine under the hood for and this was the first time again they used standard body work. A total of almost 5,000 Mark IVs were built through 1952. This particular car was coach work by H.J. Polliner of London, and it was one of just five produced by the firm. Uh, this was actually owned by a lady, uh, along with her husband, Mrs. Mrs. Northwick Norton. I think this is interesting. She owned the town of Southwick near Portsmouth, New England, and this was her car. Nice car to cruise around town. Fred, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Happy 100th anniversary to Ben. Okay, presenting our next award is Diane Parker from the Historic Vehicle Association. This is the HVA Preservation Award recognizing and acknowledging an all original car. This is a dear, dear friend of the Concord. This is Mr. Bill Davis from Charleston, West Virginia. And Bill ordered this car new. 
This is a 1964 Rolls Royce Silver Cloud 3 drop head coupe bike with coach work by Mulliner Park Ward. Now you hear me call it a drop head coupe. We call it a convertible in America, or in French they call it a transformable. But the Brits refer to this as a drop head coupe because the roof, which is known as the head, drops. That's called Everflex, the material that's on top of that. And Bill actually ordered this car new in 1963, and it has remained in his possession ever since. Today it has a little more than 50,000 miles. It has never been restored other than being maintained. He uh, delivered the car uh, to uh, the car, I should say, was delivered to him in London in uh, 19, May of 1964. And most unusually, Bill ordered it with a tachometer, which is an odd piece of equipment on a car like this, along with air conditioning, full lamps or rugs, special paint, and a leather interior. And it is one of 98 built, 49 that had left-hand drive, 49 with right-hand drive. And Bill is just a real treasure, that's all I can say. He is the greatest storyteller on the planet. Bill, thank you so much. You're the best. Pretty, pretty car. Okay, next we're going to swap it up for a little bit different time frame. Winner of the best European open car pre war, 1900 to 1933, is Albert Kalimian, I'm sorry, I almost said that wrong, from Locust Valley, New York. This is a 1932 Lancia de Lambda Torpedo Sport dual cal phaeton with coach work by Viotti. Is that one pretty car or what? Beautiful car. Just lovely automobile. Vincenzo Lancia was a really smart guy. We don't think of Lancia as a company today that's uh, it's a subsidiary of Fiat and it's really not much to speak of. But in the teens through the 40s, Lancia, 50s really, Lancia built some pretty serious automobiles. This particular car is a one-off. There's only one car that has this particular body. It's powered by a four-liter narrow-angle V8, meaning narrow angle. Instead of having 45 degrees between the cylinder banks, it has 24. So the V is a very narrow shape. It has a four-speed transmission, many sophisticated engineering features, including Launch's patented sliding pillar front suspension, and the electrically welded frame, and very unusual things at the time. This car was originally sold in Milan, Italy, and it has known ownership history from new. Fabulous car. Love it. Thank you so much for bringing it, and congratulations on your award. The most elegant brass 